Fellas, let me tell you something. I am hyped. I'm about to absolutely because, guys, I gotta tell you, I found out some really interesting information on the Asus PG32UCDM. Yes, that's right, we're talking about the 4K 240Hz 32-inch glossy Quantum Dot OLED coming out from Asus. And as I previously covered in a, well, previous video, this is the display that maybe might be the brightest Quantum Dot OLED 4K monitor on the market if what Asus has been doing in the past also translates to their future Quantum Dot OLED gaming monitors as well. Because remember, they have always had the brightest LG OLEDs. And when I asked them some questions, it kind of seemed like that might be the case going forward as well for the Samsung OLEDs. But again, only time will tell. That's old news, fellas. Let's talk about the new stuff, because if you already haven't lost your mind, you better order that chastity belt on Amazon stat, because you're gonna lose it when you hear about these specs. So sure, it's gonna be all the same specs as every other monitor coming out, but there's some differences. First, starting off with BFI or black frame insertion. Now, if you don't know what this is, I don't blame you, because this is not a normal thing to see, but it could be a huge improvement. Improvement. This is going to be present on all of Asus's LG OLED panels that I believe are coming out. However, it's also going to be present, I have now confirmed, on their Quantum.OLED PG32 UCDM as well. And what black frame insertion does is essentially it inserts black frames in between the real frames, which I know it sounds terrible, but it actually really works out well because of the way our eyes work. And you can take something like a 120 hertz signal and make it look as good or potentially better than 240 hertz depending on how it's done and it is going to depend on if you're using lcd or oled and how those two different technologies handle the implementation so only time will tell how good it really is but it did sound like asus was pretty confident that their bfi solution on this monitor would be good by the way it is going to be present at 120 hertz who knows, maybe they will be able to get it to work at 240 hertz, but I doubt they will, as that would be absolutely astonishing if they were able to achieve that. But even at 120 hertz, let's say, for example, you can only run the panel at 120 hertz. Well, with BFI, you could now be potentially getting the same benefits of the 240 hertz motion, but only having to run it at 120 hertz. And I have not seen any other manufacturer bringing this to bear. So that is a huge improvement if it's done well. So you'll definitely want to get subscribed as I will be testing this and scrutinizing it heavily in comparison to the standard 240 hertz mode. But also another huge thing that's coming out guys is they are gonna have apparently Dolby Vision on this display as well. Now Dolby Vision on the AW3225 QF Alienware model had some major issues. However, Nvidia and Microsoft have been working on a fix. And by the time this display actually launches between the probably better firmware on Asus's side, as well as new Nvidia driver updates, I don't think Dolby Vision will be an issue. And so this should just be a straight upgrade over again, some other models that will be on the market. And then finally, it should also come with a uniform brightness mode, which could be a great option for those of you who want to use it for editing. So I just want to bring you guys this quick video because BFI and Dolby Vision together with a potentially brighter panel than others are going to be offering could make this the best option on the market. I still think it's a shame they don't have DisplayPort 2.1, but considering that there won't be any graphics cards that actually have the full 2.1 bandwidth until maybe the RTX 50 series, only time will tell. I understand why they made that decision, but for those of you who want to hold on to your display for a very long time, it could be annoying if Nvidia doesn't fix their DSC issues, although I am being told that they're working on it, so hopefully this ends up not being too big of a deal. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Asus now includes a two-year panel burn-in coverage as part of their warranty with their monitors. So great stuff to see there. And then finally, the latest leaks and rumors are pointing towards a February 16th date for the initial pre-purchase or pre-ordering going on with potentially early March as a delivery date. But of course, nothing is confirmed as of yet, but I will be keeping my eyes out for this as it sounds like it could very well be the best OLED option, assuming 
the firmware and HDR performance is good. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.